Hey guys, so welcome to another Animal Crossing video. Today I'm going to show you how to spot if a painting is fake from Crazy Red or Jolly Red's little ship right at the top of the map. You can actually use your map in your phone to see if he's there today. If you see that little icon right at the top of the map by that beach, he is on your island. He's not there every single day. I believe he's there every like two or three days. It's kind of inconsistent, but I'm sure we'll find out information of like what his scheduling pattern is like how often he appears there you could probably also go to friends islands to buy paintings and art pieces statues and stuff as well now when you go in here you'll see red is over here is trying to sell you his treasure some of them are fake some of them are real sometimes all of them are fake in this case here every single thing i have in here in terms of art is absolutely fake which is kind of sad because <laughs> that means i didn't get to buy anything like real today so as you know, you can walk up to any of these pieces and inspect them for a closer look up to see if something is fake. This one is quite an easy example to tell that it's fake. It's actually based on the real paintings, but I'll actually show you all of the paintings in the game in a little section at the end of the video here. So when we zoom in here, first thing you can tell about this painting is that it is absolutely fake. I mean, there's a coffee stain on it at the top right. Why would an art piece have a coffee stain on it? Like, that is a dead giveaway that this piece is not real. Now let's look at all of the other fake paintings. I'm going to go through them really quickly. Starting with the academic painting, as you can see, we've already dealt with this one. The fake one is the one with the coffee stain. The real one does not actually have a coffee stain at all. In the detailed painting over here, the fake one has purple flowers where the real one actually has blue flowers, as you can see in the background flowers over there. Looking at the graceful painting, the fake one, the figure or portrait of the person is a lot larger in the fake one, and the person in the real one is a lot smaller, as you can see. In the quaint painting, the first thing you'll notice is that the fake one, she's pouring a lot of water out of the little jug. In the real one, she's pouring a lot less. In the basic painting, the fake one is the one where the hair covers the whole forehead, where the real one is the hair only being in the middle of the forehead. In the serene painting, the fake one, the animal that this lady is holding has like a black kind of coat to it, whereas the real painting is it's actually basically a full white animal. I don't even know what it is. In the moving painting scene on screen here, the real one will have trees in the background where the fake one will not have any trees shown at all. It'll basically be like an open land behind. In the fake version of the amazing painting, the guy with the red sachet across his chest does not wear a hat. In the real version, he's wearing a black hat on top of his head. In the scenic painting, the fake version will only have one person with the dogs or animals, whatever those are, and the real one will actually have more people and more animals too. In the Jolly painting, the fake one will not have that little like flower thing bursting from the chest where the real one actually has that little thing like sticking out of the chest of this person. Looking at the famous Mona Lisa, the tell here for the fake one is the eyebrows. The eyebrows look very aggressive on the fake one, but very normal like average on the original. On the Wistful painting, the lady here with the fake one will be wearing a star earring, whereas the correct one is the little pearl, the like circle. Looking at the scary painting, the fake one is the one where the eyebrows are like arched up in the middle and the real one is where the eyebrows are arched down in the middle with a more like scary look to be honest. Looking at the wild painting that you have to collect in two parts, left and right, each separately on different days, the correct version is the white guy on the left flying in the sky and the green one on the right with a kind of like parachute thing. The incorrect one is where those colors are swapped. If the guy with the parachute ha is a white dude, it's incorrect and these are actually demons by the way. Looking at the solemn painting, this is probably the hardest one to tell. The incorrect one has the person in the doorway right at the back. Their hand is not going like like being cut off by the doorway. In the correct one, the hand is actually like more of a like straight across. The hand is actually hidden where the, the fake one, the hand is like visible sort of. And those are all the fake paintings you can find in the game right now, at least that from what we have seen. These ones on screen here currently do not have any fakes that have been seen. So if you do find a fake or want to just double check, here's a way to just see them all with the names and everything if you just want to Google search them. And yeah, I hope this guide helps you in picking the correct paintings because obviously red is only around every few days and you have to like wait till the next day to get your paintings. So it takes a while to get all the correct paintings. You don't want to waste a few valuable days, you know, like buying the wrong painting. So I hope this guide helps. I'll see you guys in a future video. Thanks for watching.